Hello guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Robothot Zero to Hero series. Alright guys, we are on Vision Intelligence on Jets and Nano. This is a special Zero to Hero series for those who really want to get into robotics, artificial intelligence, computer visions and stuff like that and start building everything from the scratch, from zero level. That's what this series is all about. Alright guys, we are on lesson number one and I am going to teach you something which is very important to begin with that is enabling more RAM on Jetson Nano. Okay, now basically guys in Jetson Nano, uh, Jetson Nano has just about 4 GB of main memory uh, which is actually not enough memory to run large vision intelligence applications for your robots or any other UI, uh, you know, uh, you are using any UI intensive apps on your Jetson Nano or any kind of artificial intelligence applications which you are going to build over a period of time, right? So the 4 GB memory, it's actually not sufficient at all. So many a time what happens is when you are working on your Jetson Nano on your desktop, right? So your, your terminal or maybe your Python program tends to hang up in between, right? When the process keeps running, it will just hang for, it will freeze for a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes in in the introduction video you you did see that my uh, the facial recognition and the object detection models were getting hung in between but it automatically kick starts so in order to <coughs> excuse me avoid those kind of problem we have there is something called a swap file so it's it's basically a feature in in linux kernel okay which is called a swap, swap file so swap space is the area on your Jetson Nano's hard disk. Okay, it's part of your Jetson Nano's memory. All right. Uh, basically, the swap memory holds the pages or any applications which is temporarily inactive, which is, which is not being used, but it's still holding the memory. Right. You would have used in the past, maybe say for example, LibreOffice. Right. You would have opened it, but you would have closed it. The memory still holds it back. So that's the temporary, uh, uh, you know, the files uh, which is getting stuck in between in during the process. So basically the swap space is used when your operating system decides that it needs physical memory for active processes. Uh, like uh, any of the Python program you might execute, you have to right click and run the file through the terminal or, or maybe directly the script. So it, it might get hung up and the amount of available unused physical memory is totally insufficient it, it's not enough right when this happens the inactive pages from the physical memory are then moved from moved into the swap space okay which will actually free up the physical memory uh, in from your jetson nano which is in use so that's how the entire swap file mechanism works right all right guys so here i i, I just want to call out uh, Jim from Jetson Hacks who has actually created a pretty uh, short uh, script to uh, you know run this entire command so if you, if you go to Linux uh, site uh, in the in the swap file section there are tons there are at least one 10 different lines of commands to create this swap mechanism in your system Jetson nano system uh, and it, it's little complex for especially for the new guys but Jim has done a wonderful job he created a script so that you just have to, you know, in, with one or two lines of commands, it just, it, it's done, it's taken care. So I'm going to show you how, right? So let's do one thing. I'm going to log into my Jetson Nano. I have already logged in actually, and I will share with you my terminal. All right, I'm on my terminal and uh, let's go ahead go ahead and get into jetson hacks github account so i am going to get into jetson hacks github account if any of you have github you can directly bash in or it's better to go through this style the way i am trying to do it right so it it makes things easier so basically i'm trying to take that script from jetson hacks github account and run it in my jetson nano so what do you want to do http colon slash slash github.com and then forward slash and jetson j 
for uppercase j e t s o n j is uppercase and e t s o n lowercase make a note of it guys the uppercase and lowercase makes lot of difference jetson hacks h uppercase a c k s jetson hacks and then n uppercase rest all in lowercase n a n o in lowercase jetson nano then forward slash install i n s t a l l install s is your uppercase again s w a p swap file okay swap file all right let's see if this executes no such file or directory why is that okay cd install swap file oh okay guys i, I think i already imported it so that's why i <laughs> say all right now what you got to do uh, for the first time when you are running so that uh, when you are getting into github you need to uh, your terminal will automatically pull that script and it will create a directory right so now i am into that install swap file directory now all you need to do is once you get into that install swap file cd install swap file okay after that you will get this blue colors in that is your directory do you remember our previous uh, uh sessions the series i showed you how this directories work in linux right so once you see this blue install swap file that means you are into that particular directory okay now what you got to do dot okay then forward slash install okay i n s t a l l install then s in upper case swap file all right that's it install swap file okay it again says no directory because i had already installed it, it it's already been done i had already uh, installed and it's been running pretty good so for you guys this you may not see this install swap file it will just take you to the next level and all you need to do is cd come out of that and you have to reboot your system how do you reboot sudo reboot now okay it lasts for your password remember sudo reboot now and then it lasts for your password that's it once you put your password your jetson nano is going to boot up and you will have a 6 gb of ram being allocated so that's it guys that will take care of your uh, i think rest of the entire series you can run tons of applications and i'm i'm sure you're going to uh, enjoy so uh, guys that's it for this particular lesson so let me just give me a leave me a comment down and give me a like and do ask me any questions just put in the comment i'll try to respond you have my email id uh, within my youtube account and you can just email me i will be glad to help you all until then i am going to get back to you in the lesson number two where we will start installing multiple packages and we'll start creating an environment in jetson nano for you to start you know building the applications all right guys until then see you soon bye bye